Hey, it's random, and today I've got my best class setups in Black Ops 2. Now, I haven't done one of these videos uh, since Christmas, I believe, so it's definitely been a while, and my classes have changed. So these are just all my classes that have been working for me recently, and just the general classes that I go into a match um, wanting to use. And they may be similar to ones you've seen before, but they'll be slightly tweaked, as in different equipment, attachments, perks, secondaries, guns. So they could be completely different, but some of them might be similar, is what I'm trying to say. So... First off, these are just all my favourite guns right now, and this has definitely got to be my favourite joint with the AN94. Now this MAA1 absolutely tanks people for me. It's such a beast, it's ridiculous. Now, there are two setups I have for this gun, but uh, first off, the first setup that I'm using is Quick Draw and Extended Clip. Now everybody knows why I'm using Extended Clip. Um, I'm using it over Fast Mags just for the fact that I don't reload... Um, as much as I thought I did in enemies' faces, so there's no real need for fast mags. And then the only reason I've got quick draw on is because I've been lo losing a lot of gun battles recently, and that's why I'm using dexterity as well. So I just thought I'd improve my uh, aim down sight and speed, and that's why I've got quick draw and dexterity on. And the other setup you could use if you're not having this kind of problem is put the reflex on, which I do like to do a lot, and then use the dot sight. Now you could either use the default or the dot, but um, because they're more accurate, but you could use Steve if you want, but I don't think Steve's that good, so definitely Reflex Extended Clip or Quick Draw Extended Clip. Now, the secondary I'm using is the Cap 40. Now, I've only started using this recently, and it's an absolute beast. It's got such a nice hit detection. Um, it's accurate, it's powerful. Well, it's accurate from medium range, I should say, because if you go any further than medium range, then it's just going to recoil straight up. But if they're fairly close to you, then you'll be alright, and it gets kills so quick that it won't recoil away from them before you kill them that much anyway. Now, the perk setup that I'm using is just the general perk setup that I have on a lot of my classes in the past and still now. So, I'm using Hardline, Scavenger of Toughness, as, and as always, and, and as I all um, have already said, I'm using Dexterity. And the Lethal I'm using is a C4, and I'm using this on every class. Now the reason I'm using C4 instead of a Bouncing Betty, the main reason is because the amount of times I've died to my own Bettys is starting to piss me off, uh, and especially when it's on a streak. So I start to use C4, and if you learn how to use C4, it's so overpowered and so good to use. And if you don't want to go around the corner because there's a couple of people there, then just chuck your C4 and it'll get you get you both kills unless they're using Flat Jacket because it's so overpowered. Now next up we have the AN94. Now this is my joint favourite gun with the M8 obviously as I said and it's just the general setup that I've got for that gun it's literally exactly the same so I don't really need to explain much about this the only thing I would say is if you're gonna try one of these classes out it's gotta be this one or the top one because this AN94 absolutely destroys people I haven't had a bad game of it since I started using it about a month ago and this is the best setup that I could find you could take off Quick Draw and the Cap 40 if you like, because the uh, AM94 is automatic, so you don't need an automatic pistol. Uh, because generally, when I'm using a burst gun like the M8, or a single fire gun like the FAL or the SMR, then I tend to use an automatic pistol because you need that gun which is automatic to get you close quarters kills. And that's why I'm using, the <clears throat> and that's why I'm using the Cap 40 on this class. But you could take it off this if you like and put Ghost on. But personally, having the Cap 40 just there is just gives you a boost and it can absolutely destroy people better than some primaries can. Now next up, this is my go-to class if I'm having a bad game on a generally small to medium map because this gun absolutely destroys people from close range. It's so overpowered and the only difference in the perks that I'm using in this match is flat jacket. Now I've been playing a lot of uh, domination recently so I've been needing to put flat jacket on because the amount of grenades that fly into B when you're trying to cap it, it just constantly gets you killed and you can't do anything about it. So that's why I've put on um, Flat Jacket. And it really does help just in general play because the amount of random grenades that come in or the amount of betties that go off and you might miss one and not hear it. Or there's a claim all around the corner and um, it gets you killed a lot. So that's why I put Flat Jacket on and it really does help a lot. Uh, no joke, it is probably one of my favourite... Uh, perks even though I did neglect it for about four months 
Now next up is pretty much the same class. Oh sorry, I forgot to mention the the uh, attachments. Now I'm using extended clip because it goes through bullets so quick. You need extended clip if you want to get two or three people in the same uh, clip. So that's why I'm using that. And it does reload fairly quick with extended clip, so you'll be all right uh, to reload with it. And it's just generally my go-to SMG class at the minute. Now next up, as you already saw, is the vector. And this is literally the exact same, but I just use this on uh, bigger maps, um, such as, uh, I'm trying to think of a map now. I could sometimes I even use this on carrier, because it's got good range on it, I feel this gun is probably one of the best SMGs for range. So it's definitely um, a good gun to go to if you're not, you don't like the Scorpion Evo. Either one of them is definitely the best one to use out of the, t uh, out of the SMGs. Now next up, you always have to have a ghost class, I feel, because you come across games where there's six people all using UAV and they're constantly getting them because they're killing your shit teammates. So you always need a ghost class and I'm using the MTAR, as I've said in my previous videos recently. Now, this is a, such a beast of an assault rifle. It's not not as good as the AM94 and the M8, but it's close and it absolutely destroys people. So I'm just using the general perk setup with ghost as well, obviously. And then the M tile with fast mags, and that's just because it has such a fast reload time with fast mags. It absolutely, you just it's just so beast, and you feel like you're using an SMG at times when you're using that gun. Now next up, this is like my rush class at perfection. This is my favorite rush class I've got. Um, you could use the Scorpion Evo on this class as well, but I find the Scorpion Evo, though it's amazing from close range. I tend to prefer to get nuclears with that than this gun because I can't seem to get nuclears with this gun. But this is my go-to rush class and it absolutely destroys people. Flat jacket is beast obviously. Uh, just lightweight so you can get to the enemies quicker. Tactical mask so you can literally just run through grenades, shock charges, they can throw a 100 at you at the same time and you'll be alright. And I'm using extended clip because the reload time on this MMSC, MS, MC, sorry, is probably the best reload time out of any of the guns that I've found so it's definitely uh, you don't really need fast mags so just put on extended clip and you'll be alright and I definitely recommend trying this out though you may not get a nuclear with it you it is fun to use and you'll absolutely just enjoy yourself a lot more than using other classes um, sometimes anyway uh, so next up is my last class and this is the KSG now this is Slightly different perks to what I'm usually using. I'm using flat jacket and lightweight on as on the previous class. And I actually haven't got scavenger and toughness on this class. And this is because you don't really need uh, toughness on on a shotgun. Just because you're only shooting one bullet at a time. It may affect the pistol slightly but you should be alright. And that's why I put fast hands on. Now I put the 5.7 on instead of the cap 40 because you need range on this class. I know the KSG can one shot from miles away sometimes, but you need range for that time that it doesn't. And the 5.7 is the best secondary for range by a mile. Um, it can beat like a foul sometimes, even though it's the same kind of gun, but a secondary. And it's an absolute beast. And that's why I put extended clips on it, just for the fact if there was a couple of people at long range. And I'm using dexterity as well, instead of tactical mask. And that is because... The KSG is so bad at blind firing, you need to aim down sight. So you need dexterity for faster aim down sight after sprinting. And then you need adjustable stock just in case uh, you want to aim around a corner or something like that. Because if you're going to blind fire this gun, if you get a UAV then I'm impressed because it really is a bad gun. Now that's it guys, that's all my classes. Um, I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you probably on Friday or Saturday or something like that. But anyway guys, I'll see you later, goodbye.